Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for the upcoming Cognizant exam. Today I am going to share important coding questions which was asked earlier and that can be repeated. Why? Because Metal Browser is conducting the exam and they can take they can shuffle the questions in your slot okay so that means if they have asked the questions on july they can ask the questions on august so if you are preparing for cognizant then please watch the videos of cognizant in our playlist and if you want to prepare more then please prepare the previous questions they can repeat the questions and i hope you are aware of the pattern like for technical round you if you are from cluster one then prepare for java two coding questions and for cluster two python two coding questions and if you are from c plus plus i mean third uh cluster then please prepare for the c surf okay and if for cluster one html CSS, javascript two coding questions sorry one coding questions and there will be total four sql queries you have to write and for the second uh, i mean cluster two you will have to solve two coding questions along with that total four sql queries and 10 pseudo code i mean sorry 10 cloud computing mcq questions for c surf one html CSS javascript and four sql queries you have to write if you are sitting for gen c role then this is the pattern so you have to follow that okay let me share the real questions which was asked earlier but before that guys if you have not subscribed this channel yet then please do that and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want okay okay so uh, there is a printing shop where the customers submit their print jobs at regular intervals and each job takes a fixed amount of time to complete you are given an integer value n denoting the total number of print jobs and x denoting the time duration after which the next print job arrives your task is to find and return an integer value representing how long the task sorry last job will have to wait in the queue considering one print will take exactly 10 time 10 minutes if in case there is no waiting time then return zero okay so this is negative scenario so input specification are here so input one is an integer value n representing the number of printing jobs just wait i'll discuss uh, more, more okay input two is an integer value x representing the time duration after which the next print job arrives okay so let me share the sample output okay output specification is that Return an integer value representing how long the last job will have to wait in the queue considering one print will take exactly 10 minutes. Okay. So sample input output is this. Okay. So before that, if you have not subscribed this channel, then please subscribe this because this motivates me to make more content. Okay. So I hope you have guys done this earlier. So four is the number of printing jobs and five is the duration. Okay. So uh here uh, output is 15 how i'm explaining so they have considered n as 4 x as 5 x as 5 okay time complete one print jobs time to complete one printing jobs is 10 minutes so they have predefined that the one printing jobs needs 10 minutes to complete okay so the time needed for three printing jobs that is uh that is the last printing jobs last printing jobs arrival sorry this these are the previous uh previous printing jobs okay previous printing jobs so total four printing jobs but three means total previous previous printing jobs okay so four minus one that is n minus one into 10 n minus one into 10 that is 30 so this is the previous printing jobs needed this time 30 minutes okay and the last print jobs the last print jobs arrives at 15 minutes that is 3 into 5 so 3 means n minus 1 into x n minus 1 into x so basically this is n minus 1 into 10 this is previous task previous printing jobs needed this uh, this much of time and last printing jobs needed uh, like n minus 1 into x time okay so the waiting time is the previous printing jobs time minus the last uh, printing time okay previous printing time minus the last printing job time okay so that is 30 minus 15 so output is 15 okay so let me share you the second sample input that is 3 and 10 okay so 3 means uh, total printing job is 3 okay x is 10 and n is 3 so for la 
so for previous jobs needed how much time so for previous job it needs n minus 1 into 10 so 10 minus 1 means 2 into 10 so 2 into 10 is 20 so 20 minutes required for previous jobs for previous jobs and for last jobs for last printing jobs it needs n minus 1 into x n minus 1 means 3 minus 1 into x that is 2 into x that is 20 so here the previous jobs needed 20 minutes and the last printing jobs also needed 20 minutes so 20 minus 20 is equal to 0 so for this the output should be 0 okay for this output should be 0 and there is another uh, negative test case that is if if there is no waiting time then return 0 so i hope you guys understood so if there is no waiting time then output should be 0 so i hope you guys understood what you have to do just implement the formula n minus 1 into 10 and n minus 1 into x okay and then just subtract those and you will get your output okay so i hope you guys understood what you have to do so if you understood then please start solving by yourself and if you can't then watch till land before i show you the solutions i want you to have the prime materials of cognizant in which you will get all the recent coding questions with answers all the previous year coding questions and all the technical questions like html such as javascript python c surf and mock test interview preparations and also communication assessment everything you need to prepare for cognizant all are available here so please visit topmain.io slash techno.skf the link will be given in the description box and you can see the feedback of students like below as you can see uh, this is the feedback of our students and this is the feedback of students you can see so please have this and grab the opportunity at cognizant so let me show you the solutions okay, so what should be our approach to the solution our approach will be like at first we will get the user input or the user input will be already given in the main function so we don't have to take that just we have to write the logic inside the function okay so inside function we'll just implement the formula and we'll get our desired output so let me share you the solutions in java and python both it will be more clear to understand okay so at first i'll share the solutions in python okay then i'll share the solution in java as well so at first uh, so ma in main function we have got that the n is equal to 3 that is the total printing job and x is the predefined uh the time okay x is equal to 10 so we just called the calculate last job wait time nx is the arguments and we are returning uh, the integer value and that is storing inside the result variable okay and we are printing the result nothing else okay so let me just uh, go to the implementation of the function okay so calculate last job wait time n and x are the uh, parameters we are actually checking if m uh, sorry if n lesser than equal to 0 then the output should be 0 okay and if x lesser than 0 lesser than equal to 0 then output should be 0 okay so this is the negative scenario we have already defined then we are checking the we are we are implementing the formula for last job arrival time and previous job time okay previous job time is equal to previous job time is equal to n minus 1 into 10 n minus 1 into 10 n minus 1 into 10 means n is here 3 minus 1 into 10 okay this is the previous job needed and for last job time last job time is equal to x into n minus 1 okay x is here 10 and n minus 1 is 3 minus 1 so 10 into 2 so this is 20 and this is 20 for this test cases okay so wait time is equal to the previous job needed that time minus last job needed that time okay so previous job minus last job okay so this is the wait time so whatever it will get it will return the output okay so let me just share you the output uh yeah so as you can see for last test cases the output is zero minutes okay so for first test cases that is 4 and 5 the output should be 15 okay and as expected 
okay so let me just share you the java solutions guys if you have not understood a little bit like if you have any confusion then please let me know in the comment section or you can just dm me at our insta id or you can join our telegram channel t.me slash we can not there you can share your problems okay i'll try to assist you okay and guys again if you want the prime materials of action chart tcs cognizant mindtree or any other company like infosys or uh, zoho delta x any company okay so if you want then please damn our insta id at uh, like instagram.com slash tech.ef this is paid but very affordable as you can see this cost only 69 or 79 rupees okay only one materials okay so let me share you the java solutions so at first in the main uh, we have to we don't have to do anything with the main function still as i am doing uh, like for myself so i have to take the uh, like hard coded input value in 10 is equal to 4 and x is equal to 5 then we are storing the uh, returned value function returned value inside result variable okay inside result variable so this function is returning one integer value and result is storing that okay then we are printing the result nothing else so let me go go to the implementation of the function so again as we have done in uh, python that is we got two from parameters n and x and we're checking if n and x are lesser than equal to zero if not then go here if yes then return zero okay so if not then we are getting the last arrival time last arrival time last job arrival time and the previous jobs time okay so previous job time is equal to n minus 1 into 10 and the last job time is equal to x into n minus 1 okay so then we are just getting wait time is equal to time needed for previous job minus last job arrival time and we are getting the desired output okay so i'll run it just one thing you can observe here that is the questions are not that much hard okay the questions are easy but you have to you have to come to an like uh, conclusion that we have to implement this function we have to implement a uh, leap year problem here we have to implement prime number prop, uh, code here we have to implement like count digit uh, logic here so you have to come to at this conclusion okay so this is important to uh, like configure what logic we should use here okay so just uh, like like be wise be that much wise okay to configure so i hope you guys understood so let me just print it so for 3 and 10 sorry 4 and 5 the output should be 15 okay as expected for 3 and 10 the output should be the output should be 0 okay so let me run it again and as you can see the output is 0 minutes okay so i hope you guys understood still if you have any issue then let me know in the comment section before we end let me share you some experience of previous exams that is if you are from cluster 1 and cluster 3 then you have html css and javascript okay and in this section most of the candidates gets eliminated okay so basically what you have to know that is know about event listener okay know about event listener and its functionality okay how to write event uh, listener at html and how to write the implementation of it in javascript okay and know how to write function in javascript and how to write the logic it is almost similar at javascript as c programming as c plus plus okay so if you know any programming then you can implement the logic inside javascript function as well okay and you have to know how to append one tag let's say we have to append one list item one list item okay from javascript inside another unordered list okay uh, inside one unordered list we have to append one list item inside another list using javascript okay just know that this type of codes and also just know like how to get the id of one html tag inside javascript okay then how to write the inner html uh, inner html uh, like uh, syntax in javascript then learn how to write the con uh, how to write context 
so if you have not been going through our playlist of cognizant then please go through that there you will find 50 percent of coding questions so if you need the rest of the coding questions then please have our prime materials consider our prime materials okay so i'll not tell more things so if i hope you will guys can disconsider thank you for today's session